Hello, and welcome to my humble home. I'm your host Kamal al Makki, and if you remember in the last episode of Amongst a Few, I promised to share something personal with you, something that I gave up for the sake of Allah, and it made my life better. Now when you give up something for the sake of Allah, it doesn't necessarily have to be something that's haram, but whatever it is, it helps your life improve. Find out what it is when we return. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Now you know the beginning of the show might have been your clue as to what I gave up. I actually stopped watching movies. This episode really isn't about uh, movies halal or haram or anything or that type of discussion. Because sometimes you can give something up, whether it's halal or haram, because it takes up a lot of your time. You know, I had one family member and he actually stopped watching TV and movies because of one book that mentioned images are haram. Now, I didn't agree with that opinion and I felt there's stronger evidences to say that it's not haram. But I never discussed it with him. You know why? Because he became a better human being when he stopped watching TV. He used to spend all day watching TV, all day and night, and getting movies and watching shows and never reading anything. And when he stopped, he started to read the newspapers. He was knowing, he knew what was happening in the world. He knew politics. He was reading books. So I was proud of him and that's why I didn't want him to come back to watching TV. So sometimes you give something up and your life improves. So why did I stop watching movies? You know, for me, it was actually a waste of time. You spend hours upon hours watching movies, and then sometimes you even forget that you've seen a movie. Tell me if this has happened to you. You watch a movie, and then towards the end you say to yourself, you know what, I've seen this film before. So it really means that you spend an hour and a half or about two hours of your life watching this film that you totally forgot about. And then you watch it again for another two hours and only towards the end you remembered that you've seen it before. This used to happen to me and I used to tell myself then that was the first viewing was a waste of time and the second viewing was a waste of time. So for me, I wanted to stop watching movies. Number one, because it was a waste of my time. And it's interesting how um, I used to meet a lot of brothers and we talk about dawah and they say, I don't have time, work, school, I'm so busy. And then a few minutes later you're in the conversation and they tell you things like, you know, I watched Lord of the Rings uh, two days ago. I'm like, Wait a minute, isn't that a three hour movie as far as I understand? So you do have time then. And now one of the main reasons for me was the inappropriate scenes. You're watching a movie and then suddenly the next scene, it's inappropriate or there's nudity or something like that. And sometimes people argue, you know, that a little bit of bad mixed with a lot of good, like the majority of the movie didn't have nude scenes in it. It was okay. There was, you know, whatever violence or sports or whatever it is. But there was just one short clip. So it's a 134 uh, minute movie. Three minutes of it had some nudity or some inappropriate scenes. Does that make the whole movie bad? So some people argue a little bit of bad mixed with a lot of good doesn't make the entire thing bad. You can still generally classify the whole movie as good and it's appropriate. And so I'm going to demonstrate to you how a little bit of bad mixed with the majority of good can still make something bad. And we're going to do that. We're going to go to the kitchen and we're going to bake brownie surprise. So like I said, we're going to make brownie surprise. And this is a very nice and wholesome dessert that you can make and enjoy with your family. And I have all the ingredients that you need for this dessert. The first thing, you do need one egg. And as you can see in this bowl, I have one egg. And this is actually free-range chicken, vegetarian fed, and so it's organic eggs. Because we want only the best ingredients for this meal. The second thing you would need is a box of brownie mix and this just happens to be my favorite brand which is a Betty Crocker and so this is a box of Betty Crocker brownie mix and as you can see I have already emptied the contents into this bowl right here now the last thing we need is one-fourth of a cup of vegetable oil and I have that already over here and of course a big bowl so you can mix all the ingredients into and I have here also a glass baking pan. Now you can use the metal baking pan if you like, but I actually like the glass baking pans because the brownies and the things don't stick to it after you get it out of the oven. And the last, but not least, the last and most important ingredient, the surprise. So 
now that you have the main ingredient, all you need to do is mix the things together in the bowl. Now I know what you might be asking yourself. You might be thinking, isn't this bad for us to put such an ingredient with the brownies? Well, first of all, I'd like to tell you that you don't have to worry. I actually am a certified professional food manager. And this is not a joke or a gimmick for the show. I really am a certified professional food manager. So I know what I'm doing, so don't argue with me. So now we're going to start mixing the ingredients into our bowl. I'm going to start by emptying out, putting the brownie mix into the bowl. I'm going to add my one egg. And now I add the oil. Make sure you get all of it in there. And of course, last but not least, our special ingredient. Once you have all that in there, you can use a wire whisk or you can use a fork to mix everything together. Once you've got a nice blend, you start to empty it out into your baking pan. I'm, I'm using a silicone spatula to make sure I get every drop of our goodness into the baking pan. So now we're going to put it in the oven. And I'm going to set my oven to 350 degrees, and we're going to put it in for about 30 to 33 minutes. While the brownies are cooking in the oven, let me explain to you the story behind Brownie Surprise. Basically, the story goes is that there were a bunch of kids who wanted to watch this movie. And their father refused because he said there were certain scenes that were not appropriate. And the kids then argued with him that there is a lot of good in the movie, that only a few scenes are dirty, or just one scene is dirty, and then the rest, it has the best effects, it has the greatest actors in it, and so on and so forth. So the majority of the film is good, just a little bit of bad won't make the entire experience a bad experience. And so the father wanted to prove his point to them. So they, it's, the story goes, that evening, he cooked some brownies, and he put dog poop in the brownies. And then he offered the brownies, the kids rushed at them, and then he told them, wait, there's one ingredient in the brownies. I did put some dog poop in it. And so, would you continue eating? And so, the kids, they all refused. They said, I don't, we don't want to eat this stuff. And so, he tells them, why not? And he used the same argument that they gave. It was just a little of it that's dirty, and the rest of it is all good, good ingredients. So, the kids understood that even though a little was bad and the majority was good, it still made the whole thing bad. Just like when it comes to the brownies, the same thing should apply to the movies. And the story goes that from that point on, whenever the kids would say, you know, there's a movie that's out and it has a few scenes in it, but they would ask permission from their father, can we go and see it? He would tell them, would you like me to cook up a batch of brownies? Okay, so that's it for this week's episode of ATF Channel. I would like you to share with me down there some of the things that you left for the sake of Allah. Tell me more of this stuff and how it helped and how it improved your life and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaced you with better. Don't forget, next week, Muhammad Hassan with more of the good stuff. Thanks for watching. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good, huh? What's this? What?